Hey, first graders, welcome. Mr. Mortimer here. We're going to work on chapter one, lesson three. It's Our focus today is going to be on our addition number sentences. So we're going to work on writing addition number sentences. Our standard today is going to be OA1. It is, I can solve word problems within 20. So being able to add and subtract within 20. So when I look here, what you're going to do today is you're going to take a picture and you're going to be able to make a number sentence with it. So my example up at the top here, I have kites. So I have blue kites, I have red kites. I can see that I have three blue kites here, I have two red kites here. When I say it, I say three plus two equals five. So the plus and the equals, and then my answer, my sum is five. When I write it, I write it just like I said it, three, Plus, there's my plus sign, my two equals my sum of five. And again, that is writing an addition number sentence. So if I look down here at number one through four, very simple for me to identify how many red balloons do I have on this side? I have two red balloons, so I write my two red balloons. My plus sign, I write it in my first circle. I have purple balloons on this side. I have two purple balloons. I write it in there and I have my equals four. So I have a total of four balloons. My sum is four. When I look at number two, I do the same thing. So I'm now looking at airplanes. I have two airplanes on this side plus my three airplanes on the other side for a total or equals to five. What I would like you to do today, what we would like you to do today is this is going to be your independent practice. You can, I will make sure that it fits on one page here, and you can pause it at any time and you can look at these. I want you on a scratch piece of paper or a piece of paper write number five, and then I want you to write the number sentence that matches this picture. You will do that for five through number 12, and then you will also have our writing page in our back. So number 13, you're going to write number 13, and then again, you'll, write, you'll just need to write your number sentence there. And number 14, I don't, we don't need to necessarily see your work, we just wanna see your answer. And then with our writing, we want to make sure that just below number 14, that you write and show us what that what the equal sign means. What does it mean? So that is your assignment for today. Again, make sure that you, after you write it on paper, you can either take a picture of it or video it and upload it. And your teacher will be able to see your work. If you have any questions, please let us know.